What's up guys? Thanks for stopping back by. So, quick little topic on the Equinox. It's pretty much unanimous. You guys want to flip this thing, so that's what we're going to do, but we're going to make some fun out of it, kind of do a quick video series of, uh, you know, the, the journey of flipping up cars. We're going to see how far the rabbit hole goes and how far we can take this. So, got a few things. We're going to show you guys the next one we're working on, what we have in that, what we expect out of the Equinox, what we expect to get. Got someone looking at it uh, next week. Stick with it. Shut up and sit down. All right, guys. So out here in the shop, you can see behind me, this is going to be the next one. I'm sure you guys that follow the channel uh, saw it, you know, the end of spring or fall when we did that video out there, uh, you know, what's happening around the shop. But uh, this is going to be the next one. Got it pulled in, kind of just assessing the damage. I looked at it, but it's been so long, um, I kind of forgot. But just kind of want to show you guys what's going on on this one, what we're going to have to do to it to turn this one into a flip. I actually got zero into this one right now, so, but it needs some work. So let's check it out. Never mind the obvious of obviously needing to be cleaned up. Um, there's a lot of good on this one. I mean, the tires are real nice. The brakes been sitting for a while. I hope those things make it and they're not too rusty. If not, we're gonna be looking at brakes all the way around this thing. Looks like it's got some damage back here. Couple little scratches, blemishes. You know, I'm not going to worry about too much as long as it doesn't uh, render the car's functions. But definitely love the tires on this thing. The interior is not too bad. The front looks like some tape on the radio. I don't know what the deal is with that. I don't know if you guys are seeing that. I got the doors locked. We'll go around to this side. But here's where the majority of the work's going to be. We'll get that back to that in a second. But here's the interior on this. Not nearly as bad as the Equinox was, but uh, you know, still pretty good. What kind of mileage are we looking at with this one? This thing's probably gonna need a battery. We got 102, so not too bad on the mileage at all. Oh, this is holding in that safety uh, thing we could probably fix that no problem we'll have to get the probably the tape residue off of there though but interior not too bad quick cleanup but on to the real issue get this key out of here probably gonna need a battery definitely gonna need a core support radiator condenser uh, the grill a hood, obviously paint. I don't want to make this one look terrible, so I mean, I started to look at the hood to see if it could be straightened, but you guys know me, I ain't gonna, you know, I don't want creases in it and all that, so we'll have to price a hood for this thing. Definitely a core support, condenser, radiator, um, some plastic pieces, obviously, get the coolant to stop leaking. Once we get this core support out, we'll see the real damage in there. Um, but definitely going to have some work. The headlights look good. I ripped the grill off. Definitely going to need a hood latch. I don't know if the cable took a hit. Bumper looks good. Won't be replacing that. The fog lights look good. It looks like whatever the kid hit, he went under. So just everything's just kind of misaligned. You know, once you start straightening stuff out, everything will go back to where it needs to be. So not too bad, but that's what we're going to do on the series, fellas. We're going to run through this, find the prices on this stuff, make a list, order everything, go through our profit and losses, and that's how we're going to do this one. But let's get back in the office. We're going to go through our profit and losses on that Equinox. We're going to see uh, what I expect out of it and what we got into it. All right, guys. So I got the dry erase board out kind of go through some of the uh, go through some of the equinox here I got my old list when I was getting parts but I just wanted to kind of catch you guys up on kind of what we did to that kind of what we have into it we probably went further than we had to on it but I don't mess around you know I wanted to make sure this car is going to be 
a good dependable car for whoever buys it. Like I said, I got I got someone interested in it. I got a couple people interested in it, but this lady's got first dibs on it. So um, for the Equinox, uh, we picked it up for two fifty. Bought it for two fifty. Pay two fifty for it. We had the uh, we had that used engine. It was a hundred dollar core, but we're gonna get that hundred dollars back, so that doesn't count. Um, and I don't want to go through everything in it, but obviously we did. We got the gas. We got the head gasket. If my board stays up here, head gasket. Um, we had the uh, the rest of the get. We had the gasket kit. We got the whole gasket kit, valve cover gasket, timing cover gasket involved. I don't remember, some of these prices I don't remember, some of them I do. Obviously the head bolts, just some of the main things, cam bolts. We did the mirror on it, mirror fender, fender. We did the uh, thermostat, we did the... Uh, that we got the valve seats on here, but most of that stuff came in the kit. We did the uh, the head gasket kit. Most of that stuff came in actually. Remember, the gasket kit. Some of the stuff I had to buy extra, like the oil pan gasket was just RTV. Um, I think I paid uh, maybe two for two hundred for a kit. The gasket kit. This was maybe uh, fifty five bucks. Head bolt kit was uh, I think another sixty bucks. It came with all the head bolts. Then we got the cam bolt, was 20 bucks. The mirror I got used for 35 bucks. Fender we paid 189 painted. Um, some of the other major ones, obviously spark plugs. We'll just say miscellaneous. Oh, the phasers. We did the intake cam, cam and exhaust cam. We paid a good amount for those. I think we paid 200 for both of those. So we got another 200 in that. What's some other big ones? We got the axle. We did the axle, right axle. We paid 90 bucks. No, 75 bucks for that. And I'm kind of I'm spitballing here, trying to round it up to the nearest dollar. Um, this one actually should be. We'll just call this 190. We'll round it up here. I'll round even numbers. Um, front pads and rotors. You know, I think that was like 55 bucks. No big deal. Um, I mean, that's good. That's good. The rear wiper, 20 bucks. We did the rear wiper, another 20. Um, and then I would guess the rest of that's probably just miscellaneous. Uh, oh, the timing chain kit. That's a big. That was a big one. Chain kit. Uh, I think we paid. We paid like 350 for that timing chain kit because it came with the two cha chains, all the guides, the tensioner, both tensioners, and all that stuff. Probably call it. Let's call that. Let's call that 350. Probably paid. I got the better. I got the better kit too. I don't want to put cheap chains in it. I think I got a better kit from that. Um, we'll start there. I know what I'm in it. So let's count this up. We'll see what mis our miscellaneous is going to be. Um, count this up real quick. So we're 250 in. 200. Then we got 55 and 20. 35, 190, 200, 75, 20, 350. So we're probably, we're probably a little over actually. I probably got, actually yeah, I was 1250 before the axle and brake, uh, brake pads and rotors. So we're probably 13. We're probably about fourteen fifty in this thing, because the rest of the stuff was just, uh, you know, spark plugs, a thermostat. I got some. I got some oil and, and coolant involved in it. So we'll call this build. We'll call this build fifteen hundred bucks, and we're rounding up. We're being kind of generous here. So we got fifteen all in on the Equinox build. I'm gonna ask forty five hundred bucks for it. That's probably my ending dollar. Now I might not start there with this her with her. She is a good customer. I might not start there. I'll probably start at 47 or something. Maybe we could work in the middle. You know, I'll take I'll take 42. I'll take 43 for it. But 45 is what I'm going to ask for it in the end dollar game. Um, I think that's a fair price for this area for that car. Um, 
and I think it's a fair car. I, I think it's a fair deal, and I'll even offer her a warranty on the work I did. You know, give her a six month warranty. That's just how I am. And what's also great about it, guys, you know, maybe some people out there think selling to a customer is a bad idea. I went through this car. I know it's good. I spent the extra time on it. Things like that. I mean, it's it is what it is. I'd give her a six month warranty. I'd stand behind my work. Maybe everything but the trans, because what's cool about it. She'll come back for work. When stuff happens to it after warranty expires, you're good to the customers. I'll still make money on this car in the long run. So I'll make money on it selling it to a customer, and then the customer will keep bringing it back, so I'll continue to make money on the, on the car. Um, so all in all, if we get 45 for this thing, and we're probably $500, give or take. We're probably, I, I, I'll even add $500. We'll probably make maybe $2,500 on this. Because I, I remember we, had, we detailed it to... Um, I paid for a detail on it, but that's why I rounded it up to 15 instead of the 1400 that I was at. I added another 100 bucks. So even if we come in at a, you know, a 25, um, we come in at a uh, $2,500 to $3,000 profit on this one. Um, that's going to be our gain. So that's uh, pretty much a good goal. 4500 pretty good price for the car in this area I got to do the shopping around it looks like we're probably I'm probably about 800 bucks in parts on the focus um, between a hood and this is kind of shopping around I could probably shave off a little bit saving some money depending on where I go a lot of the stuff I like to get from my vendors to make sure it's warranties I know it does need uh, an engine mount too because it vibrates like no other so I know it needs a motor mount too so I'll probably add in there probably wasn't part of the accident but between core support We'll do another list like this for the Focus too, but between core support, the latch, the grill, the turn signals, you know, the hood, you know, we'll, we're going to be in there probably about $1,000. But like I said, guys, I got zero on that one. So we're going to try to flip that one. We're going to use this money to pay for it. When we sell that, we're going to use this profit to pay the 800 bucks. So we're still, you know, we're still in the, we're still in the red on this, or we're still in the black on this one. We're not in the red yet. So it's still, we're still working off all profit. We're going to see what we can flip the Focus for. We're gonna find something else. I still got that. Uh, I still got that 2003 Nissan Pathfinder. It probably needs some exhaust work or something. Just been too cold to get around to these things. But we're gonna flip these guys. We're gonna see what we make here. And I also just picked up a '96 Jeep that I'll be showing you guys in a later video. But just goes to show, flipping cars, you can make money. So I'm gonna wrap this one up, guys. Go out in the shop. All right, guys. So stay tuned to the channel. Sorry for throwing all them numbers out. I probably should have kind of knew more about what I had. I had I got up most of the receipts but don't want to go through that boring stuff just a rough kind of a rough estimate of what's going on on an Equinox hopefully we could get at least 45 for it I think that's a fair price um, like I said I'll probably even offer a warranty on everything I did um, that's just how I am you know but keep the car in the family continue to make money on it just like the Honda Element I sold her I'm still working on it to this day so this one we'll go through when I got some time later in the week. We're going to go through, get maybe a price list, find out what I get these parts for, start ordering these things, get this thing up and running. Let me know if you guys like this. We'll keep this thing going, get up to that ultimate bill, buy something nice, maybe get some ideas from you guys what you'd like to see or, you know, if we should buy wrecked ones or ones. I don't really necessarily like ones buying with blown motors and stuff because you can't really test the trans, but we'll see what's out there. There's plenty out there in this area. You guys leave it down in the comments what you'd like to see. Maybe next build, what kind of cars we could look for. But we still got two more that I'm working on, on in-house. We got to get that Nissan Pathfinder going. That Nissan Pathfinder going, and we got to get the uh, the Jeep rolling too. No, that Jeep needs a battery, fuel pump. I think it's leaking some oil and all that. But for the most part, that Jeep's a real nice one. Maybe I'll end up keeping that for myself. So, but as always, guys, like, comment, subscribe. We will catch you in the next one. Signing out.